Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Um, I'm excited for this tutorial tonight. It's going to be a simple one and pretty short. Uh, let me actually show you what it is, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do zooming with Game Maker Views. And this is just a simple way to do zoom. But you can see here I've got my screen set up. Um, I've got a view set up and I can zoom in and zoom out and move around inside of this room um, and it does have zoom so it looks a little bit weird with these square things but let me show you guys how you can do that so uh, open up a new project file and oh yeah if you are interested uh, be sure and check out my book on game maker language uh, there's a link in the description if you want to check that out so the first thing that you're gonna do is we need to create a background background um, tile this is just so that you can tell that you're zooming in or out so I'm just gonna leave this uh, this size and give me just a second while I quit Skype real quick okay um, I'm going to leave it just this size and do some generic tile thing. Let's do darker colors right there and we'll do a lighter color there. And that's kind of a very generic tile, but that's okay. Now we're going to create a room and uh, just do background visible when room starts, choose the tile, and you can see if we undo um, the grid, you can see that that is, I've got it tiling horizontally and vertically. Okay, and let's name this room zoom. Now we're going to create an object and we'll call this object view controller. Actually, really quickly, we also need to go into the room and create a view. So click enable the use of views, visible when room starts. I'm going to do 640 by 360. And then for my width, I'm going to do 1280 by 720. That's the port on the screen. The view in the room is 640 by 360. I'm not going to have it follow any objects. We'll control that manually in our view controller. So add, let's see. First, um, now that we've got that view controller object, let's create a script. And you can call this script view zoom. And script view zoom and we're going to pass two arguments we're going to pass an amount and the view index so var amount equals one plus argument zero I'm adding one to it <coughs> so they pass in let's say they pass in like um, negative 0.5 then that's actually going to reduce the amount from 1 to 0.5. So the amount should be uh, either a negative number um, greater than negative 1 or a positive number uh, that's less than 1. And let's do this. Var view equals argument one that way we can pass in the view that we want to zoom in and out just in case we have multiple views or you use this in another example where you use a different view number so the first thing we want to do is limit how much they can view or zoom limit how much they can zoom and i'm just going to do um if view width 
uh, zero our view since that's the view we're passing in the view index is less than or equal to 64 and amount is less than one exit so we're just going to exit the script if view in fact we can copy this paste it right there and do greater than or equal to 1280 or greater than one if view if amount is less than one huh well I'm gonna trust my source code but that looks a little weird to me we'll see in just a second get the offset equals So we need to get the offset for our view, um, view, and this is so that we can adjust the view's x and y position when we zoom in and out. Um, it's really easy to just adjust the view's width and height, um, which will zoom in and out, but then it will zoom in and out from the top left corner of the view instead of from the center of the view. So that's why we're getting an offset um, so we're going to do with this with both the height and the width. So this one is the height. Okay. Now we're going to actually scale the view. So view, view, um, W view in the view equals view w view why am I doing it that way I can just do times equals amount pretty sure view h view times equals amount so we're just scaling the view by the amount that we're passing in now so if our amount is um, so if we pass in an amount of 0.1, then this is going to be equal to 1 plus 0.1, which is going to be 1.1. So we're going to scale our view by 10%, increase, the, increase it by 10%, which is actually going to zoom out. So then we're going to do adjust the view position based on the scale. So this is where we need the offsets um, to adjust the view's position based on how much we've scaled it by. So if amount is less than one, else if amount is greater than one. So if the amount is less than one, then we need to add to the view's x coordinate by the offset view x view view it's a lot of views in there plus equals off x divided by 2 now we need to divide by 2 cuz that gives us exactly half of the view um, of the of the width which basically puts it makes it so we're doing it from the center if we didn't divide by 2 then we're getting the entire offset so do the same thing for the y y y and then we're going to copy this whole thing if our amount is greater than one then we need to subtract from the views x and y position okay so our script view zoom should be ready now let's go into our object view controller add an event add a step event drag over an action 
and from here. Okay. Now we just need to control the room. So let's do move the view. Our view equals, oh, let's see. So our view index is zero because that's the one we created. Var up equals keyboard check um, ord w. So we're going to use the um, ASDW keys for this control scheme just because we're using them. We're going to be using the mouse for zooming in and out. So up is w, right is d down is S and left is A. Um, now for amount we want to we want to make sure that our movement speed is relative to the size of the view. Now you don't have to do that, but it's going to be, feel weird if you don't. So I'm creating an amount variable and we're going to do view width. So we're going to check the width of the view and divide that by 80 to get the movement speed basically. If up view y view view minus equals amount okay now we just need to do this with all of our other directions so we've got up um right down left so if we're going down we're going to be adding to this if we're going right we're going to be adding as well but we're going to be doing the X view and for going left, we're going to also be doing the X view. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is actually zoom. So can, let's see, control the zoom. So we're going to use the mouse scroll button. If mouse wheel up, that's just a function you can call that checks to see if the mouse button um, make sure you put the function call operators afterwards. Um, script view zoom. So we call our zoom script. And first we pass in the amount. So I'm going to do negative 0.1. It's a pretty um, small amount. And this will zoom in. So a negative number will zoom in because it's decreasing your view's um, size. So that's going to zoom in. Um, and then we can pass view into here because we've already established view zero. And then we can copy this and do down. And instead of doing negative 0.1, you can just do 0.1. And we should be ready to go. Let's uh, go into our room and place the view controller in here. Um, save this game and run it. You can see now we can zoom in and we can move around. Um, that moves pretty quickly. So you might want to change that. Maybe divide this by more, like 100. I don't know. Just just change the amount. But you're going to want to make sure that your, your view's movement speed, in this case, yeah, 100 looks better to me is relative to the zoom amount. But this works pretty well. If you if you have a view following an object, then you don't really need to worry about adjusting the movement speed of that object based on how zoomed in you are. Um, but in this case, you do. So that is a very simple view zoom script. And you can save this script and use it in all of your different games. If you ever need to zoom in with the view, you can use this same script because uh, it's set up to just take an amount and a view. So no matter how you call it, it'll always work. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe. 
If you haven't subscribed to me already, check out my Facebook page. There's a whole bunch of links in the description. I actually have a I actually have a section where you can buy like a shirt with the heart beast on it, but nobody's bought one, so apparently it doesn't look very good. But I have a whole bunch of stuff in the description, so if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I will talk to you guys later.